This is Nora Chestnut. She's almost two, and she's a patient at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And I'm Emily Chestnut, and I'm her mom. Nora is actually a twin, and at 20 weeks, we got an ultrasound that showed she had a heart defect. We also found out at birth that Nora has Down syndrome. When I look at her diagnosis of her heart condition and diagnosis of Down syndrome, I always tell people I'm very glad I knew about the heart up front because it's, uh, here's the issue, here's how we solve it. It's very successful you know, throughout the future, and you can kind of look at those statistics. Whereas Down syndrome as a diagnosis, you really, beyond the diagnosis at birth, know nothing until the child reaches a milestone or doesn't or is delayed. And I felt like perhaps I would have started to worry too much about what does that mean for her. And really, it just means she gets there when she gets there. And I'm doing the best I can, taking her to therapy and appointments and parent groups and, you know, networking that way. But it's just Nora. Getting the news of a child with Down syndrome is life changing. I mean, it just is really hard. You, you know, there's this poem that I'm sure people talk about for autism, the roadmap to Holland. So people are pretty familiar with that. And I probably got a hundred copies of it from well-meaning friends. And I liked the analogy in that you're planning for a trip and all of a sudden your life just upturns and you don't go to Italy, you go to Holland, but Holland's a beautiful place too. Having twins, one who's typical and came home from the hospital right away, I think I didn't have as much time to dwell on the fact that Nora was in the NICU and Katie was here. You know, I was breastfeeding, I was pumping, and one baby at home and one baby, you know, so I was just kind of the first few weeks making do. But even after that, my first thought, the very first day in the hospital was they said something's wrong, and I started thinking about other trisomies that don't always have such a good outcome. So by the time they said it's Down syndrome, I was like, oh, phew, I know tons of people with Down syndrome. So that's a good thing. And then, you know, I I had a lot of questions, but it was really day to day. What do I do to make sure Nora comes home as soon as she can? She was in the NICU for five weeks and it was mostly related to feeding. It wasn't actually her heart that was keeping her there. And they said, well, you can go home with a feeding tube. I was like, okay, great, let's go home with a feeding tube. And, you know, I was all gung-ho and ready to just have her be part of our family. 